new system to make the supply of solar power more reliable in rainy and cloudy Singapore. An upgraded energy management that's able to accurately forecast sunlight levels up to one hour ahead. Staying on that topic and for more analysis, I'm joined by Professor Su Yan. He is Director of the Centre for Power Engineering at the Nanyang Technological University, Singapore. Welcome, Prof Su. Now, first, a question that's on everyone's mind. Would better solar reliability that we have talked about mean cheaper electricity for consumers? Well, hello. Uh, good night. Uh, thank you very much for having me here. Uh, I think this is a very interesting question that uh, many consumers are curious about. Uh, as we know, uh, the electricity price uh, primarily depends on the cost of the power generation. Also, uh, if we can use more cheaper power sources, such as the solar, which does not consume any fuel, theoretically, yes, the electricity price will become lower. Uh, however, in reality, the solar power is highly intermittent and unstable. So in order to manage such solar intermittency, we often have to back up certain energy capacities from the traditional generators or make use of the energy storage system, which certainly come at a cost. Mm. So if we can have more consistent and uh, more stable solar power, certainly the electricity will then be cheaper. Well, that's good to hear. Now, I'm wondering how will this new energy management system help to scale up uh, solar adoption in Singapore? Because that's very important to us as well. In what way can it help us scale up? And is there a limit to how extensively we can adopt solar energy? Mm, thank you. Uh, from what I can see, uh, this enhanced energy management system, uh, so-called EMS2, uh, includes an advanced solar power forecasting model that can accurately predict the solar power generation from 5 minutes to 24 hours ahead. So with this uh, solar power forecasting, we can handle the solar intermittency more effectively, and hence we can host more solar power in the grid. Therefore, I think this uh, enhanced EMS will make it much easier to scale up the solar adoption. Well, regarding the uh, limit for solar adoption, uh, of course, yes, there is an upper limit uh, for a power grid uh, to handle this intermittent power generation. Uh, we call this hosting capacity. And uh, in reality, this hosting capacity depends on a lot of factors, but primarily on how the power grid is planned and how the power grid is operated. So I think this enhanced EMS is to address this issue. Yeah, well, uh, I want to ask also because uh, some say it is impossible to predict the weather with total accuracy. And while you have made some headway into that, what are still some of the limitations to solar management systems and how do you plan to, to get around these problems? Mm. Yeah, certainly it's true uh, that predicting the weather is always challenging because it depends on so many factors. Everybody knows the butterfly uh, effect, right? Um, so theoretically speaking, yes, it's almost impossible uh, to, predict the, uh, to predict perfectly uh, about the solar irradiance. While this uh, inaccuracy would result in imbalance between the solar power supply and the electricity demand in the power system. Well, um, there is certainly a forecasting accuracy limit. Uh, from what I can see, uh, this enhanced EMS system can achieve a forecasting error of uh, at the average value below 10%, which I believe is already very good for tropical regions. Mm. Well, to, to get around the limitations, uh, I think we can uh, make use of energy storage system uh, to help to balance the real-time power supply and the demand through controlled charging and discharging. So I'm very excited to see this enhanced EMS is able to incorporate and control the energy storage system. I suppose one of the factors that would have to be considered is how the solar panels are maintained because poor maintenance will definitely affect the accuracy of solar power forecasting, don't you think? Oh uh, Yes, because, uh, you know, uh, the efficiency of the solar panel certainly depends on its status. So if the panels are dirty or damaged, uh, they won't produce as much energy as we expect, which certainly will affect our forecasting accuracy. So, I mean, in reality, we certainly need to ensure that uh, the solar panels are well maintained 
uh, and uh, always can operate at a uh, high uh, efficiency. Yeah, that means uh, regular cleaning and maintenance are, are critical. Now, on the business side of things, the, the ASEAN power grid does offer Singapore a chance to be the region's leading trading hub for clean energy. So does EMS2 put us in a better position to get there or do you feel more needs to be done? Mm, I think so. Uh, we, uh, from what I can see, um, Singapore is now planning for uh, more power imports uh, from the region. Uh, so the regional power grid interconnections will become more and more important. While this uh, uh, enhanced energy management system is certainly paving the way uh, to realize this, um, from what I can see, the newly added functions include this uh, enhanced um, forecasting of the solar power, uh, enhanced cybersecurity, uh, situational awareness, uh, so on and so forth. So certainly I think this uh, EMS2 uh, will put us in a better position to get there. Well, since uh, your forecasting is getting better, I'll ask you to look into your crystal ball again and uh, answer how far away from the country's goal of generating two gigawatt peak of solar energy by 2030 is. Can we reach it by then or earlier? Uh, I'm quite optimistic. We are certainly on the right track uh, going there. And uh, we can see we are already made uh, a lot of good progress towards this uh, solar power uh, placement in our power grid. Uh, so I'm quite uh, optimistic for that goal to be achieved. Prof. Su, Especially so uh, with this uh, enhanced... I yeah. uh, appreciate you coming in uh, while well, speaking with us uh, over Zoom, Prof. Zhu Yan. He is Director of the Centre for Power Engineering at the Nanyang Technological University of Singapore. Thank you again.